So Merrick is a young entrepreneur um, who is involved in the pharmaceutical world. And uh, he finds out very early on in the film that there are people in the world who are immortal. And this immediately interests him. And he goes on a journey to try and A, find them, and to B, try and work out their genetic code and see if it can be of any use in terms of curing uh, the diseases of the world. Well, for Mary, what really excited me about the script was the fact that there was so much nuance there. You know, you meet him and we th and um, he's not your out and out villain in terms of he wants to destroy the world from the off. Um, he really does want to do good. And then as the film goes along, maybe we start to question his reasons and his ethics. Um, so that is what drew me to him. It wasn't a sort of it, it was it was a journey that had its sort of you know, that, that, that move, that turn, and um, to play as an actor, that's always an exciting prospect. I think the combination of, of action as well as these amazing character arcs, it's not just, you know, your lead who gets the big arc. Every single character in this film has a, a really brilliant, a dramatic, uh, emotional arc. And uh, watching it for the first time, that is what sort of blew me away. You know, you, you go from these very complex um, character studies and you just go straight into action. And that combination makes for a really thrilling film. It was, it was amazing. I mean, from the off, when I first met Gina in Shepperton Studios, I, I knew I, I really wanted to work with her. Um, her energy is infectious. Uh, the way she handled um, the set was incredible. What she wanted the film to be was 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 just it was just an incredible thing from start to finish, really. And and I always say this on film sets: it always starts from the top. You know, the director sets the tone, um, and then we kind of follow. So Gina was a brilliant leader. I just hope they have a really good time. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a thrilling ride. It's got amazing action sequences, um, as well as it throws up some very important questions as to what is important about our lives. You know, what, what are the things we should treasure? Um, so all of that combined uh, makes for a thrilling, thrilling film. It was certainly what I was thinking about when the credits rolled when I first watched it. Just a combination of all those things together in one thing. Hey Lisa, here with a bonus movie fact. Did you know that the set for The Ten Commandments was buried underground for decades? Cecil B. DeMille, director of the 1923 film, thought the movie set, including 21 Sphinx replicas, was too valuable to let other filmmakers get their hands on it. He figured it was cheaper to bury the set than to move it, and the artefacts remained underground near the California coast for 94 years before archaeologists found them in 2017. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.